let's move on to main topic number one. And our first main topic today gets submitted to us by Jeremy Shishabu, who writes, Hey, John, my favorite film director is Edgar Wright. I think he is one of the most talented and entertaining filmmakers, especially when it comes to comedy. It's been announced that he will direct a kidnapping thriller, The Chain, based on the novel by Adrian McKinty. Jane Goldman will be writing the script. I'm always excited about Edgar doing new films, but after hearing the premise, I am 100% in. What do you think of the news? All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yes, Edgar Wright is simply one of the most exciting filmmakers out there. He doesn't make Oscar bait films, but he just makes good, fun films, right? His last film, Baby Driver, was fantastic. Obviously, you go back to the stuff he's done with Peg and Frost. That stuff is all time classic. We always know about that and talk about that. And I always look forward to anything that Edgar Wright is going to do or put out. So now he's got this new thing coming out called The Chain. And I got to tell you, the premise for this movie sounds incredible. Listen to this. The Chain tells the story of Rachel, who learns that her 11-year-old daughter has been kidnapped the only way to get her back is to kidnap another child. Her daughter will be released only when that next victim's parents also kidnap another child. If Rachel doesn't kidnap another child, or if that child's parents don't kidnap a child, her daughter will be murdered. She is now part of the chain. Dun, dun, dun. A terrifying and meticulous chain letter like kidnapping scheme that turns parents from victims into criminals. That is the summation of the chain. And I will tell you what, that sounds fast. I listen, I love movies that give you a premise of what the hell do you do? What, what do you do? What do you do if you're in the situation? And listen, listen to this, you find that your kid gets kidnapped and you got to kidnap another kid to get your kid released. Great. Oh, except for one thing, you kidnapping another kid isn't enough to get your kid released. You now have to get another set of parents to kidnap another kid. Once that happens, then your kid gets released and it creates this fail safe of screwdom. You are totally screwed. Is that a word? Did I just make up a word? Screwdom? It creates a system of absolute screwdom. I love the sounds of this. I love this. This sounds fantastic. And you know what? Even though a lot of times when we think of a guy like Edgar Wright, we will think of lightheartedness. We'll think of comedy, even though there's some great dramatic chops in, like, say, to Baby Driver. It's also a lot of levity, a lot of lightheartedness. But when you think, when you go deeper than that and you really think about the stuff that he does, I think his storytelling style, it, he has a very high paced storytelling type of style. Even if you go to the Cornetto trilogy films, Things have a very quick pace to them, happen very, very quickly and very fast. And I think that sort of sensibility will lend itself to a thriller style sounding story like The Chain very well. So you've got a couple of pieces of the puzzle here. You've got an incredible sounding premise. I, I, I'll tell you what, even if it wasn't Edgar Wright directing this, I'm completely on board. I mean, just the, the premise of this story sounds amazing to me. What the hell do you do? I love it. You add on top of that a director like Edgar Wright, who's just a terrific director on his own, but also his particular sensibilities compared and, and matched up with a story like this. I think this is a match made in heaven. Listen, I'll be excited for any movie that Edgar Wright is doing, but this one in particular sounds like could, I, I don't know that I've been as excited. No, I'll say, I don't think I've ever been as excited for a new movie from Edgar Wright as I am about this one. I don't think I've, I mean, I was really excited about Scott Pilgrim. I was really excited about Baby Driver, but there's something about him doing a story like this that really gets my engine revving. I haven't been this excited for him doing a movie maybe ever. Question is for you guys. What do you think about the sounds of the chain? Do you think it sounds as great as I do? Maybe you're like, ah, John, there's a lot of potential holes there. This might not work. However, what do you think about it? Jump down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. All right, then.